So we have Barcelona and Chelsea coming up next. We probably need to rotate a little bit. <laughs> if I had to guess, I would rotate a little bit with those two matches on deck, wouldn't you? We're playing Blackburn. They're the team that got promoted through the playoff. They're in the Prem for the first time in like 20 years. We should be able to absolutely roll them to get the stream off to a hot start today. So Sanguini, thank you for the seven months. So Phil heard that one recently. Uh, so unfortunately, I can't rate it, but I do love a... Uh, Dogs can't use MRIs, but cats can. I do love that. Oh, we deflected that. Oh, and it's Regevich. Oh, and it's Janice Regevich with his first career goal. There was, there was always, I hate, I hate purveying rumors because I do think a lot of uh, the rumors, uh, you know, uh, like I do think outside of Cameroon, apparently. Oh, there's the goal. Yannis Constantelius with his first goal of the season. And Blackburn are well and truly overmatched in the Premier League against this rampant Tottenham side. There's never been anything about him not being how old he says he is. The only Brazil story I've ever heard is that maybe like R9 was actually a little older than, uh, than he said he was or like than, you know, his camp had his age listed at but i've never seen that proven um but that's literally the only time i've ever heard a rumor uh, come out of brazil it was like that regevich he is passing it into the net look at him go jenny's regevich what a match from regevich the i was i was not near the tallest person and it's like all in the same age group oh come on romo Scotta! Goal! Simone Scotta! What position did I play in basketball? At that time, I was a power forward. By the time I stopped playing, I was a point guard. <laughs> because, uh, stop growing. <laughs> Dang it, man. Really? There goes my clean sheet. Do they pull off a comeback? I'm ending the stream. I'm just going to be very transparent. This is the worst team in the league. Five no lead at halftime. Oh, it's like, hey, Chad, it's Usman Dembele, except he, he's taking uh, penalties now. All right. Oh, yes. That is lovely from Yannis Constantelius and Josh Delic. What a fun match this is. Dang it, Mikey. Hey, there you go. There's your record. Well, I guess not the record, but 7-2 win at Blackburn. Michael Coyote bagging another one. Dude, my fullback actually scored. Nice win, boyos. That's a good dub. Gets the ball rolling down the hill in the right direction for us to start the stream, which is, uh, you know, it, it is nice to start the stream against a team like Blackburn. And we got a way, an away trip to the camp new that's going to spice things up now. Uh, chat, we're winning this game, though. Call my shots. At the camp new. I like our team. I like what we got going on. I think we're winning this game. So it's Vicario, Lewis, Rosales, Inacio, Vandevin, Guerra. Somebody find me, Eves Basuma. Thank you. Endrick, Bellarmino, Seca, George, Chekichi, and Simone Scotta. Okay, we do actually have a full bench as well. Can be rare for us. We're going to come out and play aggressive too. What? It's a Champions League night in the camp now. It's Tottenham Hotspur against Barcelona. Oh, look at that Champions League thing. Ah, it's so sick. Oh, now it's just any other match, though. Once that ref picks the ball up, you know, it's just any other match. You look around the stadium. Oh, look what we have. We've earned with our Europa League win last season. We don't have a lot of the ball. It's pretty Barcelona-esque, but. Oh, they just bought that Mansberg guy. 
He was crazy expensive. Oh, no. Now we respond. Oh, it's there. It's Inacio! Thank you. Thank you very much. We have not been the better team in this first half, but second with a good ball. Gonzalo Inacio's there. All right, I'm going to go Ginny's Rajevich as the center mid on attack because I really loved the way he moved through a lot of those spaces. Uh, Constantelius is going to come in. I like him on that side. I'm going to get Indrick out for Mikey Moore. Actually, oh, Neko Romo can't really do that. Don't have a lot of other subs that would be great. This is a sick time for highlight, though, after nothing's happened in the second half. Middle, middle, get the ball into Basuma. Get it to Eves. Not now, but any other time would have been nice. Constantelius working hard to get open. We love to see it. Oh, Mikey Moore. Well, not then, earlier. Oh, it's there. Oh. Ah, 1-1. One, one. Unless we've got something awesome. Nah, 1-1 one, one at Camp New. I'll play the underdog card. Say, uh, you know, 1-1 one, one at the Camp New. There have been way worse results than that. That's arguably the toughest match we have in our entire Champions League run. And we got a good result in it. So... Absolute nothing burger of a second half while you're sitting there in your comfy house eating your nice three square meals a day full of air conditioning. Something horrible is going on in the world and I'm here to make you feel bad about it. You see... There's a player. He could be yours. A lost player without a home. You could be that home. Without you, these sad eyes will fade from history. But with your help, in three easy payments of 1999, Pape Matarsar could finally find a home, a forever home. Okay. Uh, uh. Look, we're doing all we can on the transfer market chat, all right? We are doing all we can. 1-800-ADOPT-A-SPUR, dude. 1-800-ADOPT-A-SPUR. That is the number. Oh, wow, they're exhausted. This boy's had a war midweek. Well, they, no, they just played on Thursday. <laughs> I got an extra day of rest. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Wouldn't know what that's like. Just kidding. We won that last year. Good luck. Okay. Am I going to the World Cup final in Jersey? Dude, it's like two and a half years from now. I don't know what I'm doing next week. But I am really excited for whatever content I end up getting involved in around the World Cup, I am incredibly excited for it. Whatever that happens to be, just generally excited for the future and, and what uh, what's going to happen around that. I did a live watch along to every single match at the last World Cup. I am down to exhaust myself around the World Cup because it's so fun. Let's go. That's a beautiful goal also. But my idea for what would be a really fun thing that we could do around the World Cup is that. That plan could change. I might be presented with, uh, you know, a different an opportunity here, an opportunity there. You know, I don't know. But it, it would be really fun to do a daily live stream from the bar. You know, like, we basically just have, like, a desk set up at the back of the bar. Am I, you know, ba running almost like a full TV production out of the bar is, like, the World Cup show. It would be really, really fun. So I, I, you know me, I always, I think big, I dream big. That's where we're able to get videos like the Faroe Islands video and, and that sort of stuff done and come and where they come from. Um, we, you know, quite simply do not, oh, we just got a red.
Uh, Indrik just got hurt. So Chigichi got a straight red. Indrik just got hurt. Yeah. Okay. That sucks, man. That really sucks. Okay, where's Constantelius? He's going to get Seca. And we're going to play this way. There's no reason for uh, Rosales to be keeping him on side here. He's just borked our whole line. This would be a welcome surprise. What the hell just happened right after they equalized? No way. He's passing it to nobody. He's just hitting the ball into an area and there's nobody there and Fafana tries to play it and puts it in his own net. Oh my, okay, we're back in the lead, dude. Keep the faith, we're back in the lead. You can't lie to me anymore. I saw it with my own eyes. Oh, great play by Captain Rico Lewis. Javi Guerra, it's Simone Skoda in behind and it's 3-1. What is happening? Alrighty, I got some substitutions that I'm going to get ready to make here in a hot second, long as we can keep this ball out of the net. You hear me? Gosh darn tootin' day. There is no way. Absolutely not. Oh, he's flopping like a fish. Magic harp, 17 yards away from the goal. Absurd! All right, come on, Vicario. Come on, Vicario. Come on, Vicario. Let's go. Big plays. Come on, googly Elmo. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We just absolutely just, uh, I mean, a complete house of Chelsea. Indrik got hurt. Hope he's okay. Red card. To, our two star wingers both got sent out of the game. We won 3-1 from an immense performance by Simone Scotta. Uh, Mom, I'm scared. Okay, it's a groin strain. That's fine, dude. That's fine. Three to four weeks. We're about to hit an international break. He'll be back before you know it. That's fine. Am I actually playing this League Cup match with um, 24 guys in international duty? That's just what we're doing. I'm playing Brentford without my team. Do I, uh, I'm not being presented with the opportunity perhaps to, uh, reschedule this here contest. So who the hell knows what's about to happen? Is this a glitch? I mean, I'm being, I'm being so serious. Is this a glitch? All right, so we have five first-team players that are uh, going to be able to play in this game. They're going to have to carry pretty hard. Uh, Santiago Jimenez is here. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know what's going on. We we're playing a League Cup match right in the middle of an international window. Uh, let's get rid of unavailable players and sort by ability. Who we got? Uh, Jeremy Myers. Dude's not bad. Okay, Jeremy, you're playing right wing today. You know, maybe we get stuck in and play it tough. Maybe we can get it to pens. Uh, they, they have a better team than we do out there right now. We'll see. We might get ourselves in trouble inviting them forward. Uh, we obviously don't have a lot of fitness through the team. I'm pretty sure this is a glitch. I don't know what the hell's going on. The fact that we, uh, That we are not rescheduling a League Cup match that's been thrown right in the middle of an international break. Play without pressure. Uh, I'm going to get an eye of faith with you going, especially with the younger players that can help. We need Yves Basuma, Francisco Rosales, Guglielmo Vicario, Marcelo Enrique, and Santi Jimenez, and Mikey Moore. Like, the guys that are actual first-team players need to be immense today. We cannot get a stinker from them. They've got to be a big deal. Away against Brentford in the League Cup. Utter disaster. 
scheduling wise for us. Eminem on the wing. Jacob looks like a big lad. Barry, literally a right back, just playing there because we don't have any other left backs because even England McAvoy is up in the England team at the moment. Oh, what a ball. Santi Jimenez. Oh, what a start. Oh, my goodness. It's Barry with the assist. And Santi Jimenez is scored in the opening minute. Brilliant ball by Barry, future Tottenham superstar. Uh, you know, it's not great. That's on our boy uh, Jacob, our left center back, lost track of that one. But to be fair, he's trying to defend like an actually, you know, an actual striker here. We're asking a lot of our team, and we know that. Oh, my goodness. Nice, Jacob. Let's go get it to that midfield. Now we've got Eastman. Oh, my Eastman is so good. Eastman and Myers. Look at these kids. Look at these kids. See, he's not scoring that. But why is Vicario nervous? Like, what is, what is, what is happening? Come on. Keep your confidence. Keep playing. We've made tactical adjustments, so they're not going to score the way they had been. Oh, up to Moore. Mikey Moore. Come on, this is what we need! And it's my, it's Jeremy Myers! From Mikey Moore, and what a brilliant assist by Mikey Moore! 23 players on international duty. And Tottenham Hotspur have got it 2-2. To be fair, they do have like 11 or 12 players on international duty. Here's Mikey. Mikey Moore. It's Eastman. Eastman. <sighs> Uh, we do have three subs. Anybody got decent penalty taking? Uh, Bernard Boateng, Yanis Mavrudis, and Jeff Downey. All right, you two, you two dudes, you're in. Nice. Okay, we made it to Pens with 23 players on international duty. Stay calm, be positive, we will be fine. All right, we're going first. It's Santi. Santi Jimenez. That was our best taker, so it goes up from here. Veerman, easy. Vicario. Well, I mean, that was their best taker. We're fine. Come on, Eves. Eves. So I saw him moving that way, and I was like, please. Googly Elmo Vicario. The Googles. I saw him going the right way. Through the Jeremy. Goal! Big goal by old Jeremy Myers. Guglielmo Vicario against the Van Percy. And oh, he was going the wrong way. Maximus. Banger. Absolute banger of a pin. And he's dropping a bow, Sally. Oh. Come on, Vicario. Big saves. Big saves. Vicario saves it at sudden death. <sighs> oh, what a pen. That's the leadership we need from our actual first team players in a moment like this. If Vicario stops it, we are through. And he does. Oh, the kids have won it. In penalties at Brentford with 23 players on international duty. Tottenham has won! Back-to-back -back saves from Googly Elmo himself! I don't know how we've done it, chat, but we have done it. What a stupid man. That must have been a glitch. I don't know why we were playing that match. 23 guys on international duty. My next match is in 17 days. What? Why did we not just play the freaking match here, dude? Man City's won every match they've played this year. Dude, can they just not? Because it, it looks like we might actually have a pretty good team this year. Can they just not <laughs> do that? That'd be great. 
All right, let's quick pick the team and get rid of the youth teams. And we are so back. Rosales, Anasio, Rico, Vandevin, Basuma. Oh, yeah, we're on the wrong tactic. Well, that makes sense. Okay, uh, that, you're on attack. You're there. Romo, Regevich, Enrique, Indrik, and Echo Romo. Scott. Yeah, okay. We got a good team going out there today. We can play our confident tactic, try and really take it to them. What do I think Benfica would finish in the prem mid-table? Like maybe Crystal Palace, bottom half of mid-table. Oh, come on now. Oh, get it! Bellarmino second. That is a superstar's goal by the Portuguese star boy. If anybody's disrespected in this scenario, it's the middle third of the prim is so much better than people like kind of assume that it is. You got West Ham out here winning the conference league. Like any English team that makes it into a European competition is always right at the top of it. I mean, if you ever need evidence of like how good the Premier League is, you watch the championship and teams like Burnley. I mean, how many people were talking about how good Vincent Company's Burnley was in the championship? about how they were playing beautiful football and he changed the game. Well, that team showed up in the Premier League and got absolutely rocked. You have Benfica and Serie A, I think they make Europe. They are probably below Inter, AC Milan, Juventus. This year, I would say probably be below like Lazio, uh, but definitely top seven. You know, just picking teams that I think over the course of a season would probably finish ahead of them. Definitely, I mean, definitely Inter. They're not getting anywhere near Inter. Inter's having an amazing year. Oh, get it, son! Mikey Moore makes it 2-0. Tottenham Hotspur keep cooking. God, I wish we hadn't lost to City. I wish we had our full, like, team when we were playing City, because we... Uh, you know, it's very early in the year, obviously. Eight matches played, but we're looking like we're going to be trying to chase their coattails. Endrick, Endrick, Endrick! Oh! Uh, but I think Yedlin might be done with the national team. You know, he's getting kind of old, and I don't, I, uh, Burhalter. Yedlin went to the World Cup, but I, I don't think he is going to be a part of the team going forward after that World Cup. He's, what is he, 32? Good win. Taking care of business at Southampton. We got up early, got a second goal in to make it comfortable towards the end. That is a good result. Bellarmino Seca's early goal, absolutely brilliant. And, uh, and, yep, that sets us up for a little Champions League jaunt. Speaking of Benfica chat, we've got a road trip planned. Ooh, goody. Yay, Lewis dropped his lack of playing time concerned. And the world rejoiced. We got leadership support and club atmosphere. Hell yeah. <sighs> Champions League. Benfica. Oh, George is back. Hell yeah, dude. Big George guy. Big George guy. Chikichi, what's up? Indrik, you are also into the starting lineups of Skoda, Chikichi, Indrik, Seca, Gera, Basuma. Fix Vandevin real quick. Inacio, Rosales, Lewis, uh, Vicario. Awesome. The Champions League at Benfica. Tottenham and the Portuguese Giants to battle in match day three of the Champions League. It's the Champions! All right, guys, they are here to play. Mickey also already has a yellow. Yeah, they, I, I forgot we'd sold Benton Court. Oh, jeez. Use the freaking fullbacks, dude. Their press does not include people taking away the fullbacks. They do have two guys up there that can take away the center backs if you just stand there and wait for an hour. Thank you. Right in front of you. There it is. Javi Guerra. Hendrick. On the gallop. On the gallop. Oh, and it's Guerra! Has to be a goal, and it is for Chikichi. George Chikichi. George the Hammer. Play it short. Play it short. Yes. Why did he go right back? Oh, oh yes! Javi Guerra! 
Okay, I'll focus on the possession because we are up a goal right now at Benfica, which a win in any of the road matches and the way the Champions League is set up right now is great. Obviously, at Benfica is certainly not our pot four match. All right, Indrik. What the hell, man? Really? We did all that work to get up there, dude. Rico, could you have done that any worse? Had to be him. Not too bad, yeah, but that was a really winnable match. We controlled a lot of that match. Uh, their goals were kind of fluky. It just, um, yeah, we, we had most of that match control. It's That's why I feel like it's two points lost instead of one gained. We're like, Barcelona, I felt like it was one gained. This, I feel like we let two points slip. And that can be huge. I mean, we're trying to get into the top eight here, and so that's important.